It's channel update time. So strap in for the next couple minutes as I tell you all the things going down on Adam Does Movies. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. I don't care how old that song gets, it will always be a banger. Thank you, Lady Kesha and Sir Pitbull. As I do these channel update videos, I'm reminded of past ones and how embarrassing they often are. You could cobble together all of my update videos in the last couple years and have yourself quite a roller coaster ride. Hey, this week I'm doing a podcast with my buddy. This week I'm focusing on this sort of content. This week, it's all getting burned to the ground and we're starting over. It's just all over the place, isn't it? But after several weeks of decent growth, not amazing by any means, but growth, nevertheless, subscribers are up, views are up, revenue is even up, Patreons are up, YouTube join members up, everything's looking good. The new setup seems to be going okay. So I just want to address what I've decided to do with the channel, as you've been seeing over the last couple of weeks, and we're going to continue with it for the foreseeable future. The big number one thing is the podcast. Every single Monday, a podcast goes out on this channel, on Spotify, and on Apple Music, or Apple Podcasts, whatever it's called, I don't even know. Every Monday at 8 a.m., a 35-minute to an hour podcast, whatever it ends up being when I'm done rambling, goes out. These are movie-based podcasts, Adam does movies, but the twist is, it's more personal. A little bit more about me mixed in with it. It's not just me throwing out jokes and being a smart ass for 10 minutes at a time. These are more intimate affairs. I talk about the past, the nostalgic movies I went to with my dad, how me and my buddies would wait for 12 hours to see a crappy movie overnight because that's just what you did then. The first time I watched The Lord of the Rings on the big screen, my favorite movies, the scariest movies I've ever seen. There's going to be tons of conversations unfolding as this podcast progresses. And if it grows well, and I'm seeing a lot of support, maybe I'll do it two times a week. But for right now, every Monday, 8 a.m., you can find this bad boy go out. I already recorded the next episode. If you're watching this on Sunday when it goes out, it's going to be up there tomorrow. So again, please show the support. Follow or subscribe, whatever you do on Spotify to Adam Does Movies Podcast. Same with Apple Music. Let's get these numbers up. The second big thing is my wife's health has at least recovered to the point where she's operational. She's not bedridden. She's not passed out on the ground and getting rushed to hospitals by ambulance, which happened several times. It was a really fun experience for me every single one of those moments. She's doing all right. She's on a new treatment for her Crohn's. It's a, it's a shitty disease where there is no cure, but at least there's some decent patch jobs. She's got the new patch in her system. We'll see how it works. She's still unfortunately on steroids, which we desperately need to get her off of. It's not safe to be on them for long periods of time. She has to stay on them right now because of her condition with her feet and her legs. It's, 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 it's a nightmare, honestly. It kind of is a nightmare, but the last couple weeks she's been doing better so she's been helping me with the show, with the social media aspect. She's been kicking my butt to really push for this dream of mine to get people on this channel subscribed, to get myself in front of more people, which means harnessing social media. So on Facebook and on Instagram, which I really don't use at all, haven't used them in years outside of randomly posting a couple things, she's been going hard on that. And those are more personalized shorts so it'll be like a day in the life with me i'm still being kind of comedic i talk over the top of them very sarcastic but you get to see my kids you get to see me Lindsay will show up once in a while and it's just a day in my life grilling and doing whatever they're 60 seconds or shorter clips plus just commentary and whatever so you can follow me over there at adam does movies a couple of these social platforms are adam does movies with an underscore because some other jag had taken the actual Adam Does Movies. Such is life. You'll know it's me based on the profile icon. Outside of those two platforms, I'm also on TikTok, and of course I do the YouTube shorts. Those pieces of material are the same. If you're on TikTok, please feel free to follow. It's Adam Does Movies. If you're here, you'll see the same content. It might not go out at the same time. There might be a little bit of a difference, but for the most part, yeah. Those are also custom videos. So they're different than what I do on my regular show. For a while, I was taking clips of the show and putting them up, but now I'm completely catered to the platforms. What you're gonna see there 
on TikTok and on these shorts are 60 seconds or less of me commenting on typically nostalgic films. I might go off for 45 seconds about how cool Speed is or how awesome Jet Li's The One is in a campy sort of way. Maybe I'll talk about some of the greatest parts of Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever's trending to try to get into the algorithm's favor. But it's going to be just kind of random movie appreciation. I'll also be bashing on some scenes in movies that are really stupid. Maybe Tommy Wiseau's The Room gets a couple shorts dedicated to how ridiculous it is. Or maybe just some of the random big name celeb deaths that came out of nowhere early in films. Like Samuel L. Jackson in Deep Blue Sea. Or Steven Seagal in Executive Decision back in the day. Just out of nowhere. These people were advertised as being in the movie. That's one piece of content. The other type of content I'm doing on TikTok and on the shorts are me interacting with movie scenes. These take a lot more work. I actually just did one live on YouTube a couple days ago. People saw how much work that took. But I'm in front of the green screen. Or at least I'm in situations that look like they're part of the movie. And then I just play off of the scene. Think of it like those old MTV movie award skits they used to do. The goal is twofold, of course. The number one is to just entertain people, make them laugh, make them smile a little bit. Number two, to obviously grow my brand, grow my presence out there. So people inevitably come back to YouTube or so that TikTok can actually make me some revenue in the future and I can build a different brand there. Still, Adam does movies but in a different sense. The last piece is what's going on here on YouTube. Nothing's really changing. We're staying the course, trying to get out a couple Patreon slash YouTube join Mithril membership requests every single week. That's for the people that give 30 bucks a month or more. They get a movie request every few months. I give them a shout out. We put the video up. Mithril memberships are always appreciated no matter what. It's a huge way to support the channel and I really appreciate it. If you don't have 30 bucks a month, that's completely understandable. You might have $1 a month and that would be just enough to say, hey Adam, good job. There's a $1 tier on Patreon. There's a $1 tier on the YouTube join. And even at $1, you get access to 300 exclusive videos from my old channel, Adam Olinger, which is private. All those videos are only for the membership. It's a, it's a great deal. It's a great deal at one buck a month. So the two requested reviews are to go out within the seven day window, plus, the movie review on the big blockbuster that comes out that week usually comes out on a Friday. Last week it was Guardians of the Galaxy 3. This week I don't think anything big comes out. We'll probably go to the Charlie Day film. And then Fast and the Furious, The Little Mermaid, yada yada yada. The other big thing I've been doing lately are the live videos. I've been doing live reviews on the channel. They're usually an hour plus. Last night or two nights ago it was over two hours. I filmed, I edited, I produced the whole thing from beginning to end. Usually. It's new material though. It's me commenting on news stories, giving my two cents. It's more personalized because in the chat, you can communicate with me, ask me questions. Sometimes I'll answer them. Sometimes I'll say, hey, maybe throw a super chat for a dollar or more and then you can ask me whatever you want. In either case, it's been a pretty fun time. You get to see the disaster that is my life and how I produce some of these videos. These lives are also where I'm gonna be doing poster breakdowns and occasionally try to do movie feuds with other creators. I know movie feuds kind of fell by the wayside. It used to be the bread and butter, the life force of this channel. It fell out of the algorithm. YouTube doesn't like that stuff anymore. I don't know why, but it would be fun to at least try movie feuds live once in a while on a Friday stream. A lot going on, a lot of updates, a lot of content. The big takeaways, the podcast is on Monday. The live streams are on Tuesday night and Friday night. The rest of the week are movie reviews and movie rants, depending on what the topic is and how much fun I want to have with it. But there you go. A lot of content. Still put it in a effort, I think. So again, I'm pushing Patreon. I'm pushing YouTube join memberships. Please support if possible. And I'll see you very soon. Take care.